Hello and welcome, my name is Akira and this is my Let's Play series of Europa Nacellis 4 where we are playing as the Ottomans and we are dealing with some rebels over here. Meanwhile some other Thompson separatists might rise up soon. So I guess once you've done that you go there. And over here I kind of was an idiot so we lost a couple of Sorry. Lost a couple of battles, which was annoying. Um, now we're trying to get back on top. Um, move you here. Move you here. See if we can go get on back on top of this. And still, no, we don't want to build stuff because we have loans to get rid of. And. Well, that was quick. We probably need a leader here. Uh, in order to not lose too much manpower. And we do need to do a shift consolidate. So I'm gonna... Oh, and we lost a leader, it seems. So let's just create a le leader of this army. That was a nice fighting leader. And go there after. Persia has a civil war. So we won that battle. Let's see if we can start dealing with some of these small armies. Send these guys over there. Oh, we have too many military leaders because of lower power protection, but we'll deal with that. I think we have to do the next war against Spain. We have a bunch of claims over here now. Um, take a bunch of land, doing some humiliate as well, and that will help us a lot. Uh, just click this away. I'm willing to pay the price. Do some shift consolidate here. Let's do like this. We're actually getting attacked there. Interesting. Or we would have been. Or someone else. Oh, that going there. Okay, I understand now. But let's deal with this. So we don't see that couple back. Alexander Le Lesarevich suspects neighbors. Having a spy master in our employ has mainly contributed to our intelligence gathering abroad, but Alexander Lakovich sometimes coordinates counter espionage as well. Recent investigations have uncovered a conspiracy that would only be the work of one of our neighboring countries. Which neighbor is behind remains unclear, but the constant exchanges of information would quiet them behind to be close by. Alexander Lekovic has prepared to round up and harshly question a number of foreign officials who might be involved, but conflicting theories about the culprits leave it up to the Padisha to decide who is the target. Our neighbors will probably not appreciate the accusations, but something needs to be done and fast. Uh, it's, it's Golden Horde. They did it. I'm sure of it. Everybody knows it. It's uh, been on the television. Uh, you've heard about it in the newspapers. Those things don't exist, but I don't care. It was them all along. Everybody knows it. It is known. Oh, is there actually... Maybe there's another... There's Korhal here. Is there anyone up here that we can release? We could release uh, Timrits. <laughs> that could be fun. Uh, although we probably have a lot of... Do we have some Timurid land over here? I don't think we have. So we could release the Timurids as another vessel over here and then eat Khorasan. Um, how soon could we do that? 
can't do that until sector two, but we could actually do that. Release another nation in from Afghanistan, uh, probably Timurids actually, and then or Kokand. Well, we'll look at that once we're done with the war. Uh, but anyway, that could be a good way so we could get that land for ourselves and then have another vessel to start feeding now that we have all of their cores. That way we don't, wouldn't have to go to war with Persia in, just in order to be able to fabricate on Afghanistan because, well, this would be our land then. So we want that battle. Once that siege fi finishes, we'll gather these soldiers and go deal with another army. Go deal with this one. And in case you're wondering what this is, well, it is a requested coup disaster, but it won't have get to fire unless some other uh, event intervenes, because they will lose some uh, influence soon, because of the minister. Let's go down and deal with... Mm, are you going there? All going to Merv, I see. Let's wait and see what happens. We can go deal with you. And they got destroyed. So these are Yantua. They are Tech 10, so we should be able to deal with them. Do a shift consolidate. We'll move you to the next fortress. And we'll keep them as one group. We'll cause some men in attrition, but rather that than suffering one more defeat. I'm not getting defeated once more in this war. Actually going worse than I thought this battle, but we are going to defeat them. Uh, yeah, and we did kill way more men, so not that, not that bad. Let's go take that province back for our friends, while we recover some manpower. Or some ma uh, manpower and reinforce this army, of course. How is the other army doing over here? There's no reason why they have a leader, so we have that available if we want. Do we have anywhere with... Uh, yeah, I'll split you and put you there and uh, there. Deal with some of those rebellions. At least delay them some. And we'll just go and deal with this after. And they're scurrying to try and rebuild some troops. Go and deal with that army down in Kabul. And their numbers are dwindling fast. This should be a quick one as well. Definitely doing best in this battle. Again, we lost about about three thousand soldiers. They lost about eight, mm, eight or nine. It's just true. It's like sheer. Okay, let's go and deal with some of those small armies that are annoying. It's not 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 that it's it's not that much of a problem for me. It's more giving my vassal problems, but it's just annoying to look at. No, you cannot gain access. Why would I let you? Why would I let you walk through my realm? It is mine, my own, my precious. Besides, I don't want to help you out with your military gains. 
go to take the next fortress. Killed 5,000 men there, gonna kill 6,000 there probably. Well, only 2,000 and then kill 4,000. If we'd just done this from the start, this war would have been over by now, I think. Well, not, maybe not over now, but definitely would have saved probably almost half a year, as well as some manpower. Now, uh, law of manpower, I'll have to build that up again before I deal with Spain. Always problems with going to war. Um, yeah, just go and deal with those small armies there. Nobles, demand. Oh, well, we'll just lose this ability. I cannot. I cannot take up another loan for a thousand. It'll just take a billion years to get rid of all those loans. I have taken, keep taking them. Besides the loan, uh, stability is just, just a little bit of money. Would be would have been nice to gain the loyalty with the base, but just not worth it at that price. Another siege done. Could we at this point, say, return those cores? Yes. I don't think we can take any land, no. No, we can't do the thing with releasing anyone anyway. Because... Um, Could make them release someone and then try to make them our vassals through diplomatic means. Which would be interesting. Problem of course with doing this is that um so put you up here. Do you have a lot of cores? Yes, you do. So we could release Pundyap, but they'll be far away and probably not willing. We could release this guy, uh, Kiva, and try and make them our vessel. Maybe that could work. Do need some more points then, because we want their money and war rips. Vigorous research, nice. We have that one before. Just some free points. Just, it's nice to have free points. Not, don't get me wrong there. Oh, if if we weren't the Ottomans, we'd be in serious trouble with all this manpower we keep losing. Do we have any ideas that can help with that? No, but we do have a diplomatic annexation cost that might be worth it once we start eating this guy. And you are done there as well. I think we are done with Afghanistan. Go there and then we'll do a Kabe siege. I don't know if we need, probably, maybe we need to take Gen Pua out actually. Oh, so much. Just go there. Can't we see some land. Um, we just got this one. Uh, well, we'll gain the mercantilism again. Not willing to do this yet. I can see. Take the 
Okay, with that little army. They do this. Still want to keep them in relatively big groups, just so won't lose too much men if something should surprise me. Saxony is going mad. Still Austria. Austria is pretty big at this point. When will this call run out? We do need to do this as well for soon. There's so much war I need to do. Uh, I think I'll do Spain first though. Um, because I would like that power prediction. Oh, and they are trying to get army assembled down here. So let's just do this. Oh, that was too soon. Let's go down there then. Ooh, and the religious leader opened up. Interesting. Well, we'll have to look at that. So within the France game, if you did, if you did see my France campaign, you saw that we kind of joined it for fun, mostly, uh, and it ended up biting us in the ass. Uh, so I don't want to repeat that mistake uh, because I don't really care about Europe, other than like the parts that are gonna be mine, which is of course everything, but it's not gonna be mine until I take it. So I don't care about the pieces of Europe that's outside of my border, so don't want to be doing a lot to... to like, I don't want to be joining the coalition unless I can gain something from it some way or other. I don't really see how that should happen. Okay, in this war. Bam. Okay. So Kiva, would you be inclined to be our vassal? You would. Let's improve relations. Let's send this army up here. Let's send this army down here. Actually, let's send one army here. The other one here. We'll, we're ready to go. We're not ready yet. We need to get some manpower, but then we're ready to go against Spain. And I think we do the annexed vassal thing now. We, because we have so much admin points, we might as well spend it to save some diplo points. So let's do it like this. Annexing them will take... Uh, five years, which is fine. And then we take this vessel instead. Let's do an alliance with them as soon as we can. Doing the royal marriage thing and offering vassalization. Nice. Which means we can now send a spy to Spain. Build a spy network so we can get to its forts quicker. Once we go to Spain, we will also be in war with Portugal. I don't think we need to beat him actually. One more conversion is done. Send off a missionary. And now we wait for those troops to get to their destinations. I think I move this guy down here just so they're closer. 
ready to be moved over the sa uh, water. Probably need at least 10 months to gather some soldiers, uh, some manpower. How is Spain looking? I feel like we'll be seeing them here. Yeah, they have 49,000 men and we have 80. Uh, so we need to... Well, they're probably... They're actually quite low on manpower. But I do I do want a... I think a 10,000 pool of manpower, just so we can reinforce a little bit. And can we soon get rid of that last... Oh, man of science, gain piety, I guess. Yes. Lost, of course, by declaring war on people of our same religion and stuff like that. And uh, we can get admin tech, but don't want to. We have a loan we can repay very soon. And once we do that, we finally can start spending our money again. Of course, all of those loans were due to the whole whole coalition thing, but we don't have problems with that. Now we have problems. Uh, we don't really have problems yet, but we have stuff. Uh, lots of aggressive expansion down here. So now it's time to shift to Europe, do a uh, war with Spain and one with Austria, then shift to Africa again. Probably do some wars with Tunis and Jared. Um Did I forget to make claims down there? Probably did. Anyways, yeah, make. Um, do we need to improve more with these guys? Probably not. Yes. Anyway, I was talking. <laughs> do some Euro European wars, do some African wars here, do some African wars down here. At this point, we can probably start doing wars up here again. So now we just do the whole around, around, around the clock. Could even do some uh, Moscow, we're in the war. They probably not care too much about normal Europe. Murat III's campaign against Persia. Murat III, a sultan ruled by women, fought the Persians in an exhausting war that severely strained the empire and forced heavy taxes upon the citizens. So the war was not for nothing. Persia had to cede a uh, blah blah blah, Azerbaijan, uh, Tiflis, and Hamadan. Uh, but the resources might have been spent elsewhere. So we can gain a claim, or we can, uh, well, just gain the claim. I want to go to war with Persia at some point anyway. How are we looking for states? We could add two states if we wanted. So let's find some rich land. We could actually just do it like this. Um, 32... So Transylvania, which is probably up here, could be added. Let's do that. And they have fallen from about... I think they're almost at 100 when I took them to 48 at this point, so that's pretty okay. And uh, is there any more... Want to keep one around? Yeah, I think I'm, I'll keep one state in the backhand just for... in case uh, we need it for something. I do want to go to war with Venice as well. Let's do some spy network down there. Um, so Spain, then Venice, then Hungary, Austria. It's not like we will need westernization right now. We have plenty of points. We are running like... have too many points all the time because we had good kings. And we've had a lot of the game with full power prediction as well. Anyway, uh, I've been talking too much. Uh, it's time to end this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Uh, hope to see you in the next video. And until then, have a good day.